The United States began issuing Mediterranean passports in September of 1795 with the Treaty of the Day of Algiers and continued through the mid-19th century. The top of the vellum document was cut in a scalloped pattern used to confirm its authenticity. The matching top of the document was sent to officials along the Barbary Coast so those from those ports could have samples for comparison with the edge of the documents. This document would have been kept in a tin container to keep it dry and ensure that it matched the other half upon entry into the port. However, there was no guarantee that the Mediterranean pirates could read or speak English. The ship's crew relied on the scalloped shaped top edge, engraved illustrations of an official seal, and vellum ground to prove that they were official documents. This passport is signed by President Thomas Jefferson and Secretary of State James Madison. Holes would have been punched through the official signatures to indicate that it was a canceled document. As we can see here, this one is intact. Thanks for joining me today as